welcome to Barbie Hospital. And if you're already part of the doll tribe, welcome back. So today we're going to be doing some hair makeovers on these Kelly dolls. You'll need some hair gel, some scissors, a comb, and we're also going to need some ribbons and some hair ties. First things first, just undress your dolls, make sure all their accessories are off them. And we're going to use this Kelly box as a bit of a template for the hairstyles we want to aim to achieve. So we've got all our little dolls here ready to go. Some of these are out of box and some of them are secondhand dolls I've inherited. So just using normal hand soap is fine. Give them a good scrub. And you want to get all those little pieces out of their hair. Some of them had broken hair bands, so I'm just trying to get all of those pieces of plastic elastic out of their hair. And just get it nice and clean. And I do do this under the boiling hot tap, so just make sure you're careful if you're doing this at home. Here's the other one. So I just separate their fringe out of their main hair if they have one and just trying to get their fringes in a good position for drying. Again, just making sure that you remove all the pieces of old broken elastic. I actually really think this doll here is so adorable. I really love her cute little red hair and face. So we've brushed all their hair and we just set them down to dry. You want to make sure that their hair is in the position you want it for drying. So. Here's a, just an example of how we comb their hair. Just start at the bottom and sort of get the bigger knots out first and then, you know, work your way up the hair strand. Okay, it's the next day and our dolls are nice and dry. We're going to give her a high side ponytail. So we do that by just gathering all the hair to the side of her head and tying it up with our elastic, combing the hair in place and making it into the shape that you want with the gel. So this is where the gel really comes in handy to make sure we get that ponytail in the position that we want it to look like at the end. Then we're just gonna let her dry like that. Next up we have this other red haired doll. So this was Melody and her hair was in pretty bad shape. So I've decided for her that I'm going to put her hair into a ponytail. Now, if there's any stray hairs at the front, just chop them off with the scissors, as you can see that I've done there. Unfortunately, her hair did not dry in the way I would have liked it to. It still looks quite messy. So I'm trying my best with the gel to get the ponytail into one cohesive part. Although it wasn't easy, and I'm not 100% happy with how this doll turned out, I'm just not confident enough to use heat styling tools on her hair, which is what she really seems to need. This doll here, the Liana with dark hair, is perfectly fine the way she is. And the blonde Kelly will also decided to leave with her hair down. So next, we're just going to apply these ribbons. So just gently secure them around their head and tie them off into a bow like so. And here she is. She just looks so adorable. I'm really, really happy with how this doll turned out. Next up, we have this girl with a side ponytail. It's dried off really nicely. And I just want to make it look even cuter by tying a pink ribbon around her ponytail and positioning that, as you can see. Now, this girl, her hair dried okay. I ended up using her own hair to tie around the elastic just to give it that more pretty look. And last but not least, we have Liana. And what we're doing with Liana is tying the ribbon at the top and then just spinning it around under her hair so she has a headband look. And I'm really happy with how they all turned out. Take a look at them playing on their playground. Okay, and here the girls are modeling their hairstyles on their playground. Whee! Thank you so much everyone for watching and don't forget to subscribe to join the doll tribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye everyone.